Hello, I'm Stavina. Today I'm going to tell you about the time when my stepmother threw acid on me. As I was laying on the hospital bed with so much pain in my body, and my face destroyed by a brutal acid attack. I used to live with my mum and dad. We were happy with each other. My mum died when I was just a 15-year-old girl. After her death, me and my dad lost the support, and my dad went into depression. After my mother's death, dad lost his emotional support as well, as I lost the love of mother. That's why my dad decided that I'd get married soon. After listening to his decision, I wasn't happy. But that pain in his eyes forced me to agree and accept the reality. After a few days, he got married to a woman named Jessica. Even she was the mother of one daughter. They both got each other's support. I was more happy for my father that he was back on his track. After their marriage, Jessica and her daughter lived with us. Her daughter's name was Mary. Mary was 17 year old and she was my older sister. The only fact that makes me happy that I got my mother as well as a sister and we were the happiest family together. One fine day, things got changed. My father was at work. Me and Mary were sitting together and watching our favourite movie. Suddenly, my stepmother Jessica came and brings all my photo album, which were hanging on the wall. She burned all those photo albums in front of me. I was shocked. I wasn't understanding what went wrong and why she did that. I asked her, Mum, what are you doing? It was my pictures with my mum. Please don't do this. It was my old memories of my mother. But she ignored my request and she shouted back on me. Now I'm your mother. Act accordingly with me. Your mum is dead now. Don't even dare to call me mum. I'm your stepmother. I was helpless at that time. How was I going to tell my father about all this incident? That's why I decided to forget what happened and moved on. I believed that if I act soft with my stepmother, she will understand me better and will accept me as her daughter. But it wasn't possible. It's too hard to convince her. She used to blame me for Mary's losses. She used to tell me not to use much makeup because Mary would look ugly in front of me. That's where I got the hint the reason behind her rude behaviour with me was my beautiful face. Her daughter was an average looking girl and she used to get jealous of my beauty because me and my mother looks more beautiful than them. But my stepmother needs to understand that my beauty was not in my hands. It's natural that everyone is beautiful in their own way. Slowly days passed and it was my birthday month and I was not happy with my 16th birthday because I lost my mother and as obvious, I didn't want to celebrate it. But my dad came to me and convinced me, look, Stavina, I know it's hard for us to forget all those things, but life goes on and you have to move on. I got convinced with his words and looking forward for the good days. And finally, the day has arrived and my father arranged one birthday party for me and also he invited my close friends to give me a surprise. Mary was with me, and she was helping me get ready for the party. I asked her where is mum? She told. She was in her room, and was not going to attend the party. I wanted her to attend my party, and take the place of my mum. I went to convince her that. Please stepmum, attend my party just for my dad. She just refused my request. That's why I turned back on my way towards my room. But within a second, she grabbed my hand and pulled me back and splashed the bowl of acid on my face. After that, I ran screaming and staggering towards my dad room. I banged on his door with pain. I remembered his mouth opens in a horror after seeing me in that situation. I ran upstairs and Mary came and pours water on my burning face and body. Or when my dad called an ambulance. I still remember mucus running down my face, all over my body. After five minutes, ambulance came. I remember seeing my dad just frozen. He was shocked. My skin was melted and burned into dark patches. My eye sockets wide where the skin had dissolved. I was just suffering and fighting with the pain. After this incident, the police came to investigate and asked me, what happened and who did this to me? I was already in pain, but I told police about everything, how and why it all happened. I confess that my stepmother threw acid on my face. After my confession, my stepmother sentenced to 12 years in prison, and that's what she deserves. I feel bad for Mary and my dad, 
After my medication treatment, me, my dad and Mary used to live together happily once again. Now at 25, I found a way to look forward. I was just 16 years old when I was attacked. You wouldn't think someone could do their worst to you. If you also have such experiences in the past, you can share it in the comments section below. Hit the like button if you like my story. Subscribe to this channel to watch more such videos and press the bell icon for more updates. Hi, my name is Alvin. A year ago, my wife delivered a baby boy, and immediately, I left her. My wife seemed to be exquisite to me earlier. During her pregnancy, she gained a lot of weight, but I ignored it, thinking that after delivering a baby, she will be normal. But even after six months, she was overweight. She had stretch marks on her stomach and a gray hair on her head. She was wearing tasteless and old clothes. So one day I told her straight away, you stop being attractive to me. I don't want to live with someone like you anymore. I left my wife and son behind and started living alone. A month after, I started dating a young and attractive woman named Juliet. I spent most of the time with her. I went on a tour to different places along with her. I started spending a lot of money on her because I liked her very much. I loved fulfilling all her wishes and demands. I even gave her my credit and debit cards, digital banking ID and passwords. Everything was going very smooth. After a month or two, I started getting huge EMI. Half of my earned income was spent on paying bills and a half on Juliet's unnecessary demands. And for my livelihood, I broke all my savings. Soon after, the organization where I was working had a downfall, so the number of staff were removed. Unfortunately, I was one of them. I was disheartened and went to Juliet immediately. I was helpless and ran out of money, but during such a bad phase, she just left me alone. I don't want to live with someone like you anymore, she said. I was feeling isolated, which made me call my ex-wife. Her housemaid received the call and informed me that my son is sick and admitted to the hospital. And my wife is along with him. In a rush to reach the hospital, she has forgotten her mobile phone at home. Listening to it, I immediately went to the hospital. When I saw my ex-wife, I realized why she seemed neglected to me. Gray hair from worrying about the whole family. Stretch marks result from our first son being born. She gained weight because she was busy keeping the house healthy. She had no time for herself. She committed herself fully to the family. We have always been a top priority for her. I started visiting our son in the hospital every day. I felt regretful for betraying my family. How marvelous it is to have a family. I wanted to fix everything. I waited for a month until my son got well. Then I asked my ex-wife to meet me in the park. When we met, I was surprised to see her as she had turned into a real beauty. Though she has always been a real beauty. I never noticed it. I realized that I still love her and wanted her back in my life desperately. I was happy and excited too to get her back in my life. I apologized and convinced her to come back, but I was late. She had another man in her life. She deserves to have a great man who will always keep her and my son happy. I regret very much for leaving my family when they needed me. If you also have such experiences in the past, you can share it in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you like my story. Subscribe to this channel to watch more such videos and press the bell icon for more updates. Hey friends, my name is Kaya, I'm 26 years old and my best friend's name is Emma. We are the same age. Emma and I were the best of buddies right from boarding school up to college. We had many friends, but our friendship was really special. We could always count on each other. We used to hang out together. We used to laugh, cry, and had loads of fun together. We used to share everything with each other and were there for help always. Life was easy and fun with her. Remember, this happens with everyone. Eventually, we completed college. My best friend Emma got a job in a multinational company. I was happy for her. And now, she got busy in her work. But every single day, we used to text and a phone call each other. We were hanging out together practically every week. Although after joining her work, she was giving less time to our friendship every time she had some or the other reasons to not responding. But when this started happening often, 
I realized she is ignoring me. She used to always want to hang out with me, but suddenly she gets busy. Whenever I used to call her up, she had her excuses ready like she wanted to focus on her career and all. But I used to see her hanging out with her new friends and other people. I thought, that's okay. She's doing her own thing. Everybody finds new friends at their workplace. But still, I used to text or message her because you can't forget your old friends, right? One day, I messaged her this. I miss you. Let's go to dinner. There is a new restaurant that serves amazing sushi. I know you love Japanese food. She replied, Hey Kaya, sorry I have to go out with my mum for groceries. The same evening, I went to the store, thinking I might bump into her. While coming back from the store, I saw Emma on a bike, sitting behind a guy. I hid myself and saw that she was with John, a guy who used to study with us in college. I was devastated. I felt cold and numb. This feeling of being cheated on by your best friend was killing me. How can she? I considered her my everything. And she didn't even care telling me? I decided to confront her. I went to her place and asked her why she's behaving like this. Hey darling, surprise! Uh, oh, hey Kaya, what happened? Well, can I come in? Yeah, come in. Listen Emma, I think there is something wrong between us. I mean, perhaps I'm overreacting, but I really miss you. Listen, Kaya, you have no right to invade my privacy, and you don't need to control my life. What? Don't act innocent. I'm dating John. You know John, right? Yes. He told me about you. Who are you to decide if I should date him or not? He just requested you to help him be friends with me, right? The truth is... I was afraid of losing Emma. I loved Emma so much. As a girl, she wanted more than what I could offer. I just didn't want to lose her. I'd seen this guy, John, with a lot of other girls, and none of them were happy after he left them for his next target. I wished Emma the best in life, and that was the end of our friendship. Life lesson? Friend's life goes on. I realized... People are there in your life, not for you, but for themselves. They will be there till they feel their needs are being fulfilled. One day, they will be out of sight and out of mind. If you have such kind of experience, you can share it in the comment section below. Hit the like button if you liked my story, and subscribe to this channel to watch more such videos in the future.